The whiny kids Harry and Meghan blame everyone and everything except of course themselves for their terrible business troubles and waning popularity. And believe it or not, according to some palace sources who spoke to Globe magazine, the royal renegades might actually be right even though Meghan and Harry have claimed their woes were caused by the pandemic by the disappearance of the late Queen. And by some bad luck alumni, a high court saying they are actually victims of something far more sinister. The curse of the Windsor family. According to the Palace Insider, the family curse has tainted the royal line since before Queen Victoria's ruling family in the 19th century suffered horrific marriages and spawned strange sex freaks like the evil Prince Eddie, widely considered the infamous Jack the Ripper of London, and then the 21st century seedy Prince Andrew. According to the tailpiece, the curse is whispered within the palace walls. Elizabeth's late husband, Prince Philip, was tipped off by an aide and took the matter very seriously. It dates back to 1849, when the British army seized the K diamond in India and brought its curse back with them. The legend says that the diamond should only be worn by a woman and that evil will come to any dynasty led by a male ruler. It's interesting. The Sussexes believe Her Majesty's death crippled their karma several months after the Queen's death on September the 20th and 22. Spotify dumped Meghan and Harry saying their podcasts just weren't good enough, and now Hollywood sources say Meghan and Harry are desperate for new work. A page has reached a difficult point. This fits with how Philip believes the curse works, the palace insider says. The insider goes on to say, for every wins a victory, there is an equally crushing defeat. Philip and Elizabeth's marriage was solid, the marriage of King Charles to his first wife, the princess. Diana brought down her son Williams. The huge popularity and drama-free life was offset by Harry's and so on. I'm convinced the curse is real and I bet Meghan can't believe how lucky she was to be an ordinary person who came out of nowhere to have a prince. She says the marriage and that bullying tour of Australia, New Zealand and Fiji allowed her to relax, but it all came crashing down when she upset Admiralty staff, dot I don't think I'm claiming to be living the dream at this point. Now, when she was a teenager, her best friend and cutie claimed that Meghan dreamed of marrying Prince William. She apparently established this dream at an early age and at the same time never found Prince Harry attractive. Many people on social media spoke of Meghan being depicted lusting after William while treating Harry like a little brother. Now, interestingly, Meghan seems to really light up when Prince William is around, but when Harry isn't around her so much, in fact, she always tries to walk past him and tries to hold on to him as if he was his trophy. His wife is about to break up now trying to act like she's so in love with Harry, but it's pretty clear to everyone that it's William she really wants. Dot I think Meghan will always hate Catherine now. Maybe he idolizes Diana as the mother of his fellow hero, but that's all about William. Why? After all, did he send his friends to the press with that William gossip? If it's not William she really wants, dot I was actually shocked that she didn't try to pretend she was a virgin when she met Harry like she did when Diana met Charles. I have noticed that a lot of information about Meghan's past has been removed from many online sites. I assume your PR team did. Maybe they'll eventually get rid of all traces of Joshua, or Joe, or Trevor, or Marcus, or Corey, and many other unedited men. And then she can pretend she was really a virgin when she met Harry, just like Diana, but it doesn't matter, because Meghan will never have the first place. She fled the UK, because she realized early on that she had to do a service, but the service will be done the Queen's way, not Meghan's way. The Queen told people where to go and who they would be with. Meghan could never compete with William and Catherine. She always came second and it drove her crazy. It was clear to see there are so many instances of Meghan giving William wide eyes when she realized none of her dreams were going to come true. Then she saw the big picture of I think it was for her. It was so far from Buckingham Palace that he just couldn't stand it. Meghan should have been happy to leave, but no, she was so delirious. 
Although the truth be, Megan is not special in any way, shape or form, she came back to the States thinking everyone would love her, especially after that interview with Oprah. Well, obviously that plan failed. The truth is that people hate him more than before. Megan will always be second. At best, he will always be in second place. Obviously there is something wrong with Megan's mirror. Catherine is one of the most naturally beautiful women around the world. I think Harry and pretty much everyone else is completely in love with this incredible woman and future queen of Meghan, on the other hand, that's nothing. His ego is so off the charts, it's ridiculous. If Harry hadn't been a member of the royal family, then Meghan wouldn't have given him the time anyway, Meghan, after all, is probably a college graduate with big ambitions. Prince Harry didn't go to college. Instead, went to Sandhurst for a military career. I think Meghan completely controls it. She manipulates it and is also at least th. And then they started with lies about the royal family right after they got married. And that's when I noticed that Harry was turning against everything he knew, turning against his own family. At this point it was all about Meghan, and that's when the games really started. In fact, think about it. I had to take a step back when I saw them make their engagement announcement. I noticed Meghan was so happy and it really pissed me off with that fake smile on her face that was interrupting Harry all the time. I thought it would probably cause problems now. Harry played every move from the start. He needed that attention that he lacked in the past, and this is a really bad way to get the attention he wanted, and now it looks like he's paying the price. Looking back, I can see that Meghan always clung to him, and at some point I wanted to believe their love was real. I was, however, too distracted by the ill-fitting clothes that concealed themselves with a tie belt. It was not a good look for her. Think how polished Diana, Catherine, and even Sophie have always been. It looked like Harry had just picked up some trash on the street and was doing her best, but she would never be able to adapt. She made a living as a mattress actress and this was her Oscar. The problem is that Meghan is not a good actress when she first visits. Meghan didn't even try to hide the fact that she was much more interested in William than Harry. And then, by the second visit, William had become adept enough to avoid looking in her direction. I think Meghan's dream has turned into a nightmare, and she has only herself to blame. I will never forget how Meghan was talking to a reporter in Africa. He asked her if she was okay, and she said, Oh, no one ever asked me if I am okay. Meghan Mark, the royals have been all over the world and have been subject to local customs and different food giving all kinds of gifts ranging from gold and jewellery to animals and furniture. And they were always smiling and thanking everyone, Meghan went to Africa and Australia and caused so much trouble because she didn't know how to behave. It was pathetic. He kept interrupting people and always had to be the centre of attention, he had no manners. He doesn't have a moral compass, and that became incredibly obvious later on. I don't think Meghan is capable of truly loving anyone else. I think this whole romance is contrived and it became increasingly clear that he thought she was going to be the one to modernize the monarchy and teach the queen a thing or two. I mean, what's wrong with her? He did not enjoy following rules or protocol and has no respect for tradition. Fools. Russian should always be played for Harry and for you. What do you think of Harry and Meghan? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you find my video useful, please don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family who need it and don't forget to subscribe to our Kate Middleton channel, the Queen News channel to receive updates. More updates in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Good years of viewing.